All right, so I'm not sure how many of you are actually like interested in this as a video topic, but I figured I would make a video on kind of like a life update my apartment right now, because as of right now, it's pretty much a mess. This is the future living room. Hopefully in about a month, I'm thinking, this will turn into an actual apartment and we'll actually be able to move in here. But I wanted to just show you what it looks like right now. And then later on in this video, I'm guessing I will be able to show you what the finished product actually looks like anyway this is the kitchen as it's looking right now we also have like all of these boxes this is the bathtub i'm gonna have a bathtub in this apartment which i'm super excited about i've been wanting that for a while our last apartment was like super cold in winter and it gets really cold here in sweden and just like when you get home from the gym but it's been really cold outside just getting into a tub that's just gonna be the best thing ever i think so this is what our bathroom looks like right now basically really dark or my plan with this bathroom is essentially for it to feel a little bit like a spa i want it to be like super dark so that when you get home in the afternoon or like in the morning you can go in here you can have go into the bathtub like kind of relax before bed so this is where you enter into the apartment you come in here this is going to get painted black and then you can either go to the right here or to the left i mean and then you get into the actual living room and then you could also go right and then you get into this super tiny little hallway thing that has a separate space for the washer and then this is our future bedroom this is what it looks like right now basically a giant mess and then we go out and then as you enter into the apartment here is gonna be the actual bathroom and then you can also go straight, which will lead into my future office, which I'm of course super excited about. Okay, so this is way too bright, so you're probably not gonna see the background, but the walls here are like very dark gray. I think that would just look super cool once as like a background. Imagine like a red-ish light. Well, we'll see that once it's done. I won't bore you with it right now. And then you get to the living room, which has the fireplace here, corner couch like that, and then we're gonna have the TV here on this wall. I really like this brick wall that we have in the kitchen that I think will be a super nice background for one of the, for a video. And then here the kitchen, I'm really, I really like the dark gray. Pretty much everything in this apartment will be a shade of gray i think we're on the top floor so we have a little bit of a better view as you can see we can do like time lapses here of that little of this view so this was just an update now from 9th of august and hopefully everything will get finished like all the base layers of the apartment will get finished by next week i think then we can just start to put the couch together put all the furniture together and then once all that's done we can basically start with actually like moving into this place which will be exciting so i'm hoping that it'll be like two weeks it's probably going to be three weeks because everything's just been taking way longer than i thought we basically saw this apartment so got the idea for actually getting it in february i think like late february now it's august so we'll see when we actually move in i'm really excited and i can't wait to see what this actually will turn out like so i think the next time you'll see me this will be done and i'm not sure what this video will turn out like All right, so what I'm gonna start with here is the chair. I'm gonna have like a reading chair. I'm gonna have in the corner here of the office. I'm gonna just be able to sit there and like read or maybe draw or do something like that. I have a really big chair here from Ikea. A uh, footrest as well called like Strandmon, I think. That's what we'll start with. All right, so there we go. Part one of this office setup is done. The chair is now 
completed and I feel like this is the type of chair like if you think of a comfortable chair for an office setting this would probably be something that you would come up with in your imagination so that is what we've got there with a little chair and that was like an effort and a half I'm like soaked in sweat right now I don't know why that always happens with IKEA furniture I try to be as fast as I can I think it's because I feel like with my superior intellect I should be able to put this together super fast I mean I took an IKEA IQ test once and I actually got an A on it so that should tell you something. The first thing is done. Now we're gonna move on to the lamp that will go next to the chair. Now I just need to move all these boxes out of this room so that I don't basically drown in boxes when I'm done with this. Alright so let's start with that. All right, so now the chair is done and it's placed in that little corner. Now we're gonna move on to the lamp, like I said. So let's do that. All right, so you can't really see it too well, but here is that little light next to the chair. And now we're gonna put up these little tables right next to the chair. And there we go, that's a little bit brighter, but yeah. I think it's turning out pretty good. Good little reading corner here in the, in the office. So now let's go to the tables. It's like 9.36 p.m. right now. We've been moving all day. I think it's like hour 14 or something of this day of me moving the entire previous apartment into this apartment, putting everything up, pack, unpacking everything, and then now working on getting my office set up. So it's been a couple long days, but we're getting close to having an office, which I'm just super excited about. So that's why I'm up this late doing this. Okay, so now this is all set up. It looks really good. I'm super happy with how it looks. It's just that it kind of takes up like more than half of the space that I have available. Yeah, I'm not sure how well that's gonna work. I just feel like it looks really good. All right, so now I've put up a rug in this place as well. Also opened up this thing, which is a special light, I don't know what you call it, like a light hat thing, I don't know. It's supposed to be really like sound absorbing, so the idea is I want to be as minimal as possible with like soundproofing this studio. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that up into the roof and hopefully the idea is that sound will go into like hit all of this surface around me. Then it'll go onto the actual light hat thing. Then it will kind of, that will kind of disperse it or like remove the sound. I don't know what you call it. I don't know. I'm not very technical. I just heard that that was a good idea. So that's what I'm going to use for that. Anyway, now it's time to start with the actual desk, which will be a corner desk here so that I can have my monitors right there and then have some desk space over there as well. Desk is now up, and I can adjust that to whatever height I want, which is really cool. I've never had a stand-up desk before, so <sighs> so that's really good. It's right now 11:09 p.m. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm super tired, and all that's left is the chair for the desktop, which I'm thinking that I'll do as well, just to kind of get that up. Tomorrow I'll do all the tech stuff, like actually doing, setting everything up for the desktop. All right, so this is day two. Uh, of the office setup and now I'm gonna put on basically set up all the tech stuff which is like the screens and actually plug in my computer all right so that's the two screens and the computer all plugged in I haven't done the internet cable into the laptop the computer yet because I'll have to like pull that through somehow and like get it around and to the actual computer so that's a problem for a different day but right now we have computers working now so that's really good cable management is not very good though it looks kind of decent from this angle but once you get to like here you can see that it's 
quite messy but everything like that it's pretty easy to get behind the screens to plug things in it's also pretty easy to get behind the actual computer and like plug things in there so what i'm thinking i'll do is i'll put some sort of cable management thing under here so that i can have all the cables up around like next to the actual desk another really cool thing that i did this morning was i glued this extension cable also like screwed that into the actual desk so that way i can plug things in straight to like the desk the actual desk doesn't look too good <laughs> with just this keyboard and this little thing i need to put together this or like take out this mouse plug that in and another thing is that i actually got sent a new keyboard that might go a little bit better with the white setup so i have this keyboard from epo maker or epo maker not sure that's probably what i'll be using so i'm gonna unbox that now and then you can see kind of what that will look like with this setup all right so you get a really nice looking like chrome ish cable so i maybe end up using that but i don't know and then you get some extra keycaps in case you want to use like a mac you get option and command and a different button for control but i think it looks really good and it feels quite good too like it's i don't know what type of switches it is i'll see i think we get something here to change out the switches so we can check out what type of switch they're using okay so i think that they use gateron switches instead of like the ones that I've been using for this one are Cherry MX and they're like the standard ones. I think this will be good. It's good that it's the brown switches so it's the same ones that I've been using here. So I'll feel like at home. Probably gonna use this for a while and see what I think of it. All right, so this is what the setup ends up looking like. There's a lot of echo in this room, which I'm not sure how to fix right now. I've got the light with the sound reducing or echo reducing. And I've got a cow or a chair. I've got this chair, I've got a rug on the floor. So I think there's like, maybe if I put up some curtains or something, that will help a little bit. I'm not sure, but this is what the setup will look like. And now I'm going to do a separate video where I'll go through my actual desk setup once I've got this a little bit more finalized and like I've worked through some of the details. But yeah, I'm really happy with this office setup. So let's do a quick show of what it looks like. 